The exhibition Otherworldly Debitur Reville Photographs is drawn from our collection of more than 60 works by the artist. We wanted to really showcase the otherworldly aesthetic that she sought to create in her works, kind of this suggestion of storytelling that she creates a world that is a little bit removed from reality. And so that's where the idea of the title of the show, Otherworldly, comes into play. So when you step into the exhibition, the idea is that you're really stepping into um, Deborah Turbeville's world. I think she's more unique today than ever because I don't see this kind of photography. Deborah's work stood out due to its ability to transcend traditional boundaries. The unique perspective made her a trailblazer in the art of photography. She blurred the lines between fashion and documentary photography and left an indelible mark on the industry. She really sought to create a mood, an atmosphere, rather than to sell clothes, which is interesting because when you encounter her work now in the history of photography. It's pretty much in the context of the history of fashion photography for which she's considered to be one of the innovative figures in that history. And she very quickly became well known for her unique vision that would carry out within the stories that she would seek to tell in her editorials that were quite a bit different from what was being shown in the majority of fashion magazines at the time. One thing that we tried to do in this exhibition is, wherever possible, also include issues of magazines or books where the works themselves were published so that the viewer can compare the photograph on the wall with the photograph as reproduced and then disseminated to the world. So when you walk into the University Gallery, it was our intention that as you step into the first hallway, you're starting to enter this other world that Deborah Turbeville creates in her images. And we did this through a number of different design devices. One is the color that we chose. We were really interested in a color that kind of had this patina of, of a bygone age, something maybe a little dusty almost. Deborah loved patina. She didn't like things being pristine. She liked things that looked like they'd aged and that there was time set into them. Deborah Turbeville was very vocal about not wanting to be pigeonholed as a fashion photographer. Her work really does span so many genres. She was very interested in capturing the inner lives of the women that she photographed. Also, when you arrive at the uh, Mexico and Guatemala period, you're seeing more of the eye of a social documentary photographer in some ways. One thing we wanted to do in the space was also to give a prominent place to the photographer's words herself. So in each section of the exhibition, the text will open with a quote by the photographer. And she was quite vocal about the way that she liked to create universes and her aesthetic approach to doing so. In her prints, she divorces the image itself from reality further through physical manipulation of the prints. She would take large sheets of uh, craft paper and just rip it so there would be rough edges. And she would take masking tape and she would create a story on that piece of craft paper. Effects like soft focus or tearing of the edges or other kinds of visual disruptions to further uh, separate the image from reality. One of the largest series in the exhibition is the Rainy Day People series. And this was shot on commission for Luomo Vogue in the late 90s. Rainy Day People was a piece that was shot near my country home that I shared with Paul Sinclair. But I look at those images and I remember that day. We searched for a location in the area and we came upon a rundown farmhouse. And Deborah said, that's perfect. You're seeing various period references, a sort of like end of the 19th century, gentlemanly um, long coats or ascots, but mixed with sort of uh, references to the American West that are coming together to create this kind of pastiche of timelessness almost. The photo shoot for which Deborah Turbeville is best known is probably the 1975 photo shoot that she did for Vogue magazine about uh, bathing suits which she shot in the Asser Levy uh, public bathhouse in New York. It was a bit avant-garde at the time to be photographing models in a bathhouse. Yes, that was much about fashion and fashion photography, but it was a lot about documentary. The environment meant a tremendous amount to Deborah. 
She wanted interiors with a history, where there was a personality, where there was emotion. I think that brings all of Deborah's worlds together. And I've never seen photography since that is like that.